know what you're all thinking. This is not where story time with Deadpool usually takes place, but we thought we'd switch it up today for a little extra added wow factor. Wow, wow stands for Warriors of Wakanda, for those of you that didn't understand that. That's the show that you literally just watched. It was pretty amazing, right? Are you all ready for story time? Yeah, yeah you guys like stories? Yeah. Well, this guy in the Deadpool shirt likes stories, and I see that very nice. What are some of your favorite stories? Go ahead, name some. Oh yeah, the proposal, that is a classic. That is a classic. Okay, well those are all all right suggestions, but we're not doing any of those because this is my show. We're gonna do what I want to do, yeah. Today I've got a tale full of action, romance, and guaranteed to be in strong award consideration at the end of the calendar year, it's Beauty Pool. And the Wolverine School. <laughs> you scared? No, I saw you flinch, sir. You did. <laughs> right, let's see if we can find the opening word, shall we? Look at these adorable pictures, by the way. You see them, right? <laughs> Look at Dog Pool. I scribbled these myself. Thank you for the cheers. All right, let's see here. Once upon a time. You know what? It just feels wrong when I'm doing it with myself. Why don't we all say it together, shall we? One, two, three. Once upon a time. Wasn't that fun and interactive? <laughs> well, upon that time, once, I was walking along, captivated by one of my favorite books, People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive of 2010. <laughs> okay, yeah, I know, right? But all of a sudden, I heard the galloping of my father's horse, Philippe. Come on, children, gallop with me now. Okay, yeah, Philippe was clearly under the weather today, that's all right. You see, my father had left home earlier in the day to travel to the fair, but now Philippe was coming back alone, my father no longer in the saddle. Oh, Philippe, I said, where's Papa? Is he in some kind of trouble? I asked him this like he was some sort of television horse that could understand English, but this is a story grounded in realism, and he's a real horse, so he whinnied. I don't really speak Winnie, so I just leapt onto his back and guided him to take me to Papa, quickly! And off we galloped. Oh, we galloped deep, deep within the forest. Oh, we were so deep in that forest. It grew very dark, very scary, very dangerous. Kind of like being in an in-and-out drive through at 1 a.m. <laughs> Suddenly we came to a clearing where we saw an enchanted mansion, a certain mind. Thank you. An enchanted mansion, rising out of the mist. There was Professor Xavier's school for gifted youngsters. I dismounted fully and sent him on his way, for I knew who lived here. As this guy knew 20 minutes ago and shouted in front of everyone, <laughs> the Wolverpeas! I can't believe you made it. Quickly, let's take a cute, awesome picture together for the gram. <laughs> Good, great, you got it. Awesome. Let's go. Come on. Colby, please don't leave. You have to help me finish the story. We were just getting to the good part. Look, if you don't want to do it for me, if you don't want to do it for the gram, at the very least, do it for the children. Come on, kid, show all your saddest pouting faces until he agrees. Oh, yeah, the baby's really young. Okay. I see the baby. All right, fine, fine. I'm doing it for you, kid. Yes! Child, you're a hero! Give me the book. Awesome. It's very convincing. You look like you were in legitimate, absolute despair. You should be in Hollywood, honestly. Shut up. Okay, okay. so... Um, get off. Okay. Uh, Belle. It's actually Beauty Pool, that's me. I'm not saying Beauty Pool. Come on, child, show him the face of absolute despair again. No, don't. No. Beauty Pool does a little B&E &E and meets a bunch of weirdos who are furniture and dishes. Well, don't forget about the cutlery and the napkins. I mean, there's a whole dance number and everything. Anyway, then the real hero shows up. The Beast. Well, it's actually the Wolver Beast. Come on, Wolver, you gotta stay within the rules of parody here. Anyway, Pool Boy over here makes a mess of things as usual. Then it's up to Wolverine to save the day. Uh, blah, 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 I slice up some bad guys while Beauty Queen over here stands in the corner making a bunch of stupid jokes with outdated cultural references. Oh, how dare you write? They're not. My cultural references are timeless and ever-enduring. Bugsland. What happened to Bugsland? 
Queensland. Ant Man, what did you do? Oh, this whole thing is really headed south. You didn't mention anything about Mrs. Potts, her adorable, charming son Chip, Bloomy Air, or even Chef Boosh. There's a deep cut for all you magic key holders out there. It's the scope. <laughs> Not even a few bars of tale as old as time. I said no musical theater. Really? I feel like if you wanted to be a showman, you could be the greatest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I've clearly touched a nerve, children. Maybe it's time to wrap things up. The moral of this story is pretty obvious, actually. It's don't open your door to strangers, because they might just be an evil witch who will enchant you, your entire house, and everyone and everything in it just for not letting them in. It's actually uh, kind of a weird story now that I think of it. We tell this to children. <laughs> you do. Okay, well, that's fair. I guess we'll be off then, but uh, we'll be. I'll let you do the honors and say the magic special words. <laughs> what words? You know how every good Disney story ends, and no one say a post credit scene, alright? That is so overdone. We only do that in the FCU, the Feige Cinematic Universe. <laughs> I'm still workshopping that acronym. I feel like there's just one too many letters. I'm out of here. Oh, what's wrong, Wolby? Too much fourth wall for you? Yes. He's much more of a third wall kind of guy. <laughs> well, anyway, I guess I should be off too, but I just want to be clear for the record they all did live happily ever after. <laughs> that is until the direct to video release. I mean, with pennies on the dollar at that point, do you guys even know?